Now I'm going to show you how to use track versions when you're recording. And to do so, I've loaded up a project that already has several tracks, including some synth tracks, drums, and guitars. But I'm going to add my bass tracks. So I've got one bass track here. I'm going to record and monitor enable that track. And then I'm not going to record the entire piece of music, just a few measures before these guitars kick in. And that way I can show you how track versions work during the recording. So this first bass track is going to be a clean bass guitar using the front pickup. So that was a pretty good take, but I'm not sure that I'm totally in love with it, so I'm just going to do another quick one because there was more of a build-up into the guitars, and this will help me show you how to use the comping lanes with track versions. Let's record again. There, that's a better take, and you may hear that my uh, fans on my MacBook Pro have turned on during the recording. That's what that humming noise is there in the background. But because I didn't erase the original take, the new take is on its own comping lane, and I'll explain more of that in a moment. But now let's use track versions, because I might be thinking to myself, I may not like just the front pickup, maybe I want both pickups on the bass on, and then I may want to use a little bit of overdrive with my Sansamp bass preamp. So what I'm going to do is come over here to the Track Versions tab, and I'm going to create a new version. So I'm going to click the New Version button, and then I can go to the first version and type in the name of that first track version, which is going to be Front Pickup Clean. And then I'm going to change the name of the second track version to Both Pickups and dirty. And now that I have that track version selected, you can see that the bass track's name hasn't changed, but the track version has, and the original version is now gone, waiting for me to put in a second version. So I'm going to rewind to the left locator, and I've turned on both pickups on my bass, and I've added a little bit of overdrive, and now I'm going to record a new track version. I missed a couple of notes in that one, so I'm going to rewind and take a new take. I like that take a little bit better. Now I recorded two different takes on each of those track versions so that in the next tutorial I can show you how to edit with those comping lanes, but now I want to show you how you can listen to each of those different track versions. So here's the track itself, and I can now choose between either of those takes. Here's the front pickup, which is clean with the last take.
And now I can audition that front pickup with the clean signal to the dirty version with both pickups, simply by choosing its track version. We'll go back and listen to that a couple more times just so you can hear the auditioning. And you can also choose the different track versions from the track versions tab right here. So that's how you use track versions during recording. And since all of those track versions are located on one single track, you don't end up with multiple tracks containing multiple takes with mutes on and that just gets to be a, a lot of stuff to manage. So with track versions, you can manage all of your different track versions very, very easily. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use track versions for editing.